Hello students, in this video lecture, we will discuss obtain PCNF and PDNF of the given statement presented by Dr. R. Dinesh Bhav. Uh, before we solve this problem, we should know how to write max term and min term for the given problem. Uh, in the given problem, there are three variables that is P, Q, R only. Okay, so using these three variables, I am going to write eight max term and the eight min terms uh, and also each min term and max term containing three variables only that three variables are given variables and its negation only uh, uh, we should not get any uh, same variables and its negations okay so all max term and all min terms are different terms only okay we should not get any uh, repeated same same term and its negation okay so now i'm going to write max term what is max term definition max term is nothing but any variable connected by some operator then that form is called max term okay so here using these three variable i'm going to connect and some operator then we get eight max term that is there are therefore the eight max terms are these are the eight max term how to write this term first using this three variable connected by r operator you get first one Second one, taking negation of any one variable, so you get these three terms. Next, taking negation of any two variable, you get these three terms. And finally, taking negation of all values, you get negation P or negation Q or negation R. Why we are writing R operator? That is max term definition. What is max term definition? Any variable connected by some operator. Then that X, that form is called max term okay so here given variables are three so that we are using this three variable and its negation connected by some operator so these eight terms are different terms also and um, and it is not a uh, same term and its negation okay so these eight terms are max term similarly i am going to write a eight min terms by using these three variables what is min term definition using this three variable connected by product operator that is product conjunction operator okay same so using uh, this three variable connected by and operator so you get first one similarly taking negation of any one variable so you get this three similarly taking negation of any two variable so you get a next three term and finally taking negation of all terms you get negation p and the negation q and the negation or why we are writing under operator that is min term definition what is min term any variable that means any given variable connected by under operator okay and also you should not get any same term and also it is negation all terms are different terms only so this is called min term we have general formula how to how many terms we get max term for under min term how to identify given variable is two we get totally four min term and four max term how to find that four term we have general formula is that if if the number of uh, proposition is n that means if number of variable is n then two power n max term and two power n min term only here number of variable is three that means n value is three so two power three equal to what eight so we get totally we get eight min term and eight max terms only using this eight max term and min term along with the procedure of pcnf and pdnf definition we are going to find a uh, pcnf expression and pdnf expression okay so now we find a pcnf what is pcnf definition so what is pcnf definition pcnf is nothing but product of max term what is max term any variable connected by sum operator so each max term should not get any same variable and its negation okay so let us consider the given statement is a okay now we are going to simplify this statement we should get this enf expression okay what is step number one step number one remove all the symbols that means conditional by conditional symbol and one more symbol simplification here simplification is not given okay so here the given two symbol we want to eliminate these two symbol by using equivalent law and by double equivalent law okay so once we eliminate this symbol your expression will be normal form what norm, what is normal form normal form is nothing but an a normal form expression should contains only three connectives that is sum r and negation only once you get these three uh, connectives then that expression is called normal form okay so now 
first i am going to eliminate this biconditional of symbol okay so using double equivalent law what is double equivalent law if p biconditional q then we can write p then q and q then so using this definition i am going to write this expression is Q then P and P then Q. Okay, so now I am going to apply equivalent law for this expression. What is equivalent law? That is P then Q means negation P or Q. So now I am going to uh, write this expression is negation of negation P or R only. Okay, so now we know once again we are going to apply equivalent law for this two term. At the same time, I am going to apply double negation law. What is double negation law? Negation of negation P equal to P. Okay, so using double negation law, negation of negation P equal to P for the first term. Second and third term, I am going to apply equivalent law. So we get negation of negation P, that is P R R and D. What is equivalent law? Q then P means negation Q R P. P then Q means negation P R Q. Okay, now you see this expression is called normal form. Why it is normal form? You see all variables connected by only three operator, and operator, uh, or operator, and is negation only. So therefore, this expression is called what? Normal form. Once you get normal form, then only we will talk about what is PCNF. Uh, that means principle of conductive normal form. Okay. So what is step number two? Step number two is. Uh, <coughs> remove negation before sum or product uh, then by using double negation law otherwise uh, de Morgan's law okay here there is no negation term before sum and the product okay so um, what is third step third step using distributive law until we get a pcnf and pdnf okay so here you see uh, okay what is my pcnf pcnf is nothing but product of max term only product term is there and the operator is there max term means max term is nothing but any variable connected by some operator some operator also is there we are unable to say this term is max term what is max term for a given problem given problem is three variable so each and every max term should contain three variable only a p q r or negation of any uh, given variable okay what so here p r r is there but one variable is missing that variable is what q variable okay coming to here uh, two variable is there p negation of q is there but one variable is missing that variable is r so here also r is not missing suppose suppose all three terms contain three variables means therefore that expression is called a pcnf expression okay so here one variable is missing so i want to introduce that variable so that what is identity law p r false if you multiply any variable into false you should get only p only okay so that you consider this is p okay i'm going to introduce the r f in all three terms okay so we get what same variable only so that i'm going to write this step is p r r r f here this term into r f this term into r f these two terms are same only so using identity law p r f equal to p so p value is p r r okay so next step whenever you get why we are introducing rf we want to get third variable then only we can able to say that terms are max term only otherwise it is not max uh, okay now we apply uh, inverse law what is inverse law f equal to r and the negation r so here i am going to apply f equal to q and the negation q why we are introducing q q variable only is missing so if you get a q that is, that term is called a max term so that i am going to introduce q variable here here the missing variable is r so that i am going to substitute f equal to r and the negation r here also missing variable is r so that i am going to substitute f equal to r and the negation r so apply in inverse law in, in previous expression we get this expression okay so now you see this expression is pcnf this is also not pcnf what is pcnf product of max term only product symbol you should get outside um, remaining uh, remaining each term we should get max term that max term contains only sum operator here you see sum operator product operator both operators are there so that i am going to apply third step what is step, step number three uh, step number three is nothing but apply distributive law until we get pcnf or pdnf okay so now i am going to apply distributive law what is distributive law p r q and r we have three different variables two different operators connectives okay well, here you see 
this is you consider p or this is q and this is small r value okay so using distributive law we can write this so before that you see how to write distributive law p r q and p r r okay same way i am going to write this p this term r q okay one and this term r negation q okay coming to here this and this this and coming to second term using distributive law this term this is p so this term r r this term r negation r so you get this one again this and this this and this. okay again we using distributive law for third term we can write this p r r so negation p r q r r this and this this and this term r negation r okay what now we see this expression is a pcnf yes it is pcnf only what is pcnf product of max term so you see product of better is outside and each terms are max term only okay and also we want to verify each max term should not should not get same variable and its negation okay we have to verify all terms are different terms here all terms are different no okay in this expression second term and third term is repeated so that i want to write only one time so that i am going to use item potential law what is item potential law p and p equal to p you consider this is p and this is p so we can write only one time so therefore we get the pcn of of given statement equal to first term second and third term will be same we can write only one time remaining three terms are different okay so in this problem our given statement that means pcn of of given statement contains five max term only so and also this expression is called what product of max term each max term containing three variable and its uh, negations only and also it does not uh, uh, contain same variable and its negation okay therefore this expression is called pcnf that means principle of conjective normal form okay in this problem pcnf contains five max term only what about your pdnf pdnf you get only three min terms out of eight terms okay so totally we get eight terms that out of eight you get any three min terms only now i am going to find a pdnf how to find a pdnf first we write a pcnf of negation term negation term is nothing but what are the terms are missing missing of max term in pcnf okay so pcnf of a we got it five terms so we are going to write a remaining three terms are missing okay that three terms first we write negation of a equal to these three terms are missing okay from beginning we saw uh, what are that eight max term okay out of eight term we got it five term five terms are max term remaining three terms are missing term so this you consider missing term is pdpcn of negation a okay now i am going to find a pdn of a given statement so that take negation on both side if we take negation on both side we get pcn of a negation a can be written as pdn of a okay so that is equal to negation of pcn of a negation a so we know pcn of a negation a is nothing but these three terms so substitute here so we get negation of what product of a, a missing max term of pcn of a okay substitute here now, so now okay now i am going to apply de morgan's law what is de morgan's law negation of p and q equal to negation p or negation q here how many variables is there three three different terms are there and the operator is there you consider this is p and q and r so how to apply de morgan's law for three variables negation of p or negation of q or negation of r so you you bring this like apply de morgan's law for this term we get negation of p or negation of q or negation of this term okay so once again we apply uh, de morgan's law for each and every term okay so now we are going to apply de morgan's law for this term okay then similarly we are going to apply de morgan's law for this term similarly we apply de morgan's law for third term so we get and also using double negation law double negation law is nothing but negation of negation p equal to p p law using this two law i am going to write directly what is pcn of of given statement answer okay well, so how to write this answer we see uh, apply p morgan's law here negation into p negation p okay well, r means and this operator 
so negation p and negation q and negation of negation r what is negation of uh, negation p what is negation of negation p that is equal to p so coming to here negation of negation r is nothing but r so we get a first term is this one negation p r means and and means r that is de morgan's law so and negation q and r coming to second term how to write how to apply de morgan's law for second one negation of negation p so p so you get p r means and negation into negation of q that is equal to q by using double negation law r means and negation into r negation r this of this r is separately is there so you write separately r coming to third term apply de morgan's law first negation of negation p p r means and negation of negation q q r means and negation of negation r equal to r so therefore this expression is called pdnf of given statement what is pdnf definition uh, sum of min terms only okay uh, therefore the given expression is called what principle of disjunctive normal form of the given statement a i hope you are enjoying this session thank you